This is London. You will now hear a statement by the Prime Minister. I am speaking to you from the Cabinet Room at 10 Downing Street. This morning, the British Ambassador in Berlin handed the German government a final note stating that unless we heard from them by 11 o'clock that they were prepared at once to withdraw their troops from Poland, a state of war would exist between us. I have to tell you now that no such undertaking has been received and that consequently this country is at war with Germany. When I finish speaking, certain detailed announcements will be made on behalf of the government. Give these your close attention. Now may God bless you all, and may he defend the right. For it is evil things that we shall be fighting against. Brute force, bad faith, injustice, oppression, and persecution. And against them I am certain that the right will prevail. That is the end of the Prime Minister's statement. Please stand by for the important government announcements, which, as the Prime Minister has said, will follow almost immediately. That is the end of the announcement. This is London. The government have given instructions for the following important announcements. Closing of places of entertainment. All cinemas, theatres and other places of entertainment are to be closed immediately until further notice. In the light of experience, it may be possible to allow the reopening of such places in some areas. They are being closed because if they were hit by a bomb, large numbers would be killed or injured. Sports gatherings and all gatherings for purposes of entertainment and amusement, whether outdoor or indoor, which involve large numbers congregating together, are prohibited until further notice. This refers especially to gatherings for purposes of entertainment. But people are earnestly requested not to crowd together unnecessarily in any circumstances. Churches and other places of public worship will not be closed. Air raid warnings. As from now, no hooter or siren may be sounded except on the instructions of the police. In the event of threatened air raids warnings will be given in urban areas by means of sirens or hooters which will be sounded in some places by short intermittent blasts and in other places by a warbling note changing every few seconds. The warning may also be given by short blasts on police whistles. When you hear any of these sounds, take shelter. Do not leave your shelter until you hear the raider's past signal which will be given by continuously sounding the sirens or hooters for a period of two minutes on the same note. If poison gas has been used, you will be warned by means of hand rattles. If you hear hand rattles, do not leave your shelter until the poison gas has been cleared away. Hand bells will be used to tell you when there is no longer any danger from poison gas. Schools. All day schools in evacuation and neutral areas in England, Wales and Scotland are to be closed for lessons for at least a week from today. 
In reception areas, schools should be reopened as soon as arrangements for the education of the children evacuated to the locality can be completed. The precise date of reopening schools in reception areas will be decided by the authorities of the schools. General. Keep off the streets as much as possible. To expose yourself unnecessarily adds to your danger. Carry your gas mask with you always. Make sure that you and every member of your household, especially children able to run about, have on them their names and address clearly written. Do this either on an envelope or something like a luggage label, not on an odd piece of paper which might get lost. Sew the label onto your children's clothes where they cannot pull it off. The London tube railways are required for traffic purposes, and the tube stations are not available as air raid shelters. Now here is an announcement to unemployed persons. If you are already claiming benefit or allowances, do not attend at the Ministry of Labour local offices until your next payday. If you become unemployed and want to claim benefit or allowances, you should attend at the Ministry of Labour local office. To avoid congestion, Claims will be taken from 9 o'clock in alphabetical order, surnames beginning with A to H in the morning, the rest in the afternoon. As a precaution, orders were issued this afternoon calling up officers and men of the anti-aircraft units of the Territorial Army and officers and men of coast defence units of the Territorial Army. This, of course, is not a measure of general mobilisation to include the Territorial Army. Also, as a precaution, officers and men of the Royal Air Force have been recalled from leave. The defence units of the Auxiliary Air Force and the Observer Corps have also been called up. The defensive units of the Auxiliary Air Force comprise the Fighter Squadron and the Balloon Bearer Squadron. The Bomber units have not been called up. Two Information Bureau have been opened in London to answer inquiries of men offering their services to the Territorial Army. One at the Mansion House and one at the Duke of York's headquarters, Chelsea. Territorial Army drill halls and police stations, of course, can also give any information required. The distribution of gas masks began tonight in all areas. The Home Office, in announcing this, urge everyone to take great care of the masks as their efficiency depends on the condition in which they are kept. When not in use, they should be carried in boxes, and care should be taken not to crumple the eyepieces. There is a further warning against allowing children to play with the masks, as damaged masks become leaky and therefore dangerous. The Home Office adds that the gas masks will be distributed by local authorities. Some authorities will ask people to go to local depots to be fitted and given their masks there, while others will distribute the masks through air raid wardens who will look after their own sectors. The Home Office is leaving the local authorities a free hand as to which method they adopt. Some authorities, including the London County Council, have issued appeals for ARP workers, that is, for more auxiliary firefighting workers, women ambulance drivers, and ARP wardens. Other precautions reported by various local authorities include the digging of trenches in parks and open spaces. A Home Office handbook giving ARP advice will be delivered in every house in the country tomorrow. It gives information with many illustrations on the choice and preparation of refuge rooms in houses and flats, precautions against fire, the operation of the air raid warden system, and includes suggestions for action in case of actual air raids. The principal food prices are to stay unchanged for 14 days. This was announced by the London Provision Exchange at the request of the Food Defence Plans Department and has been decided by provision exchanges all over the country. This means that the price of bacon, hams, butter, cheese, lard, 
cooking fats and margarine will not alter for the 14 days. Emergency measures for wartime distribution of meat supplies were discussed in committee at a meeting of the National Federation of Meat Traders Association at Birmingham today. That is the end of these announcements.